Nichols would like to thank you for choosing one of our water boats for your cruise and hope you will spend a very pleasant time with us. When you arrive at the nautical stop, you will be welcomed by our staff and led to your boat for a guided tour. Once on board, you will be invited to look around and discover the locations of all safety equipment. First of all, please make sure that all life jackets are present. Children must wear safety jackets at all times, ensuring that the correct sizes are available. Please ask a member of staff for any special equipment that may be required. Next, locate the life buoy and fire extinguisher before checking the anchor, which is to be used in an emergency only. This first step is now completed. Then, please locate the gas fittings, most often situated in a left cupboard in the kitchen, and locate the shut-off valves of the cooker, of the heating system and of the fridge. The gas bottles are placed outside in wooden chests. In case of leak or smell of gas, it is important to screw down the valves and notify your member of staff at the base immediately. If you notice anything not working properly on the boat during the inventory, please be sure to notify our staff. Lastly, please consult the handbook. It contains useful help and advice on handling the boat as well as some extra selling, safety and tourist information. Now, guided by our technician, your training can begin. In just a few minutes, you will learn the simple sailing rules, which are essential throughout your cruise. You may now start the engine. Once on, check that the cooling water exits correctly from the exhaust pipe. Carefully remove the control knob of the reversing device. It is now time to cast off the mooring ropes and roll the knob correctly, ready for use later on. You're ready to go. Generally, during the cruise, you must keep to the right, especially when you meet another boat. At the same time, please be aware of the banks, which may contain hidden rocks, branches, and other roots. Should one of these obstacles appear, Anticipate your maneuver in good time in order to move away from such hazards. React in the same way to other such situations such as fishermen and anglers. Always give way to commercial boats. Otherwise, providing you have good and clear visibility, you may cruise in the center of the canal or river. Please be aware of the signs and buoys along the waterway. It is important to recognize and respect them for your safety and that of others. The maximum speed permitted on the canals is 6 to 8 km per hour. On rivers it is 10 and 3 in ports and river stops, as well as entering the living locks. Bear in mind that cruising follows the cycle of the sun and is not permitted between sunset and sunrise. Should you wish to visit the surroundings, you can moor your boat along the bank or two-pass line where permitted. Remember it is forbidden to moor in mid-channel, under a bridge or near a lock. When you want to burst the bank, do it always by the front, reducing your speed and handling very slowly as the boat will take some time to react, and only the reversing position can stop it. If you move in an unprepared area, use two stacks and drive them solidly into the ground. For your safety and in order to avoid the risk of accidents, it is extremely inadvisable to moor at or near trees, fence posts and other stern rails. The traffic on the towpath must never be obstructed or disrupted. When you leave the bank, begin to slip the back mooring rope and move the back of the boat aside to place the screw in deep water before slipping the front mooring line. As you approach a lock, indicate your position by sounding the horn. The crossing is easy and often facilitated by a lock keeper who will guide you through. If the lock is automatic, you will need to maneuver the vessel yourself. In either case, 
enter the lock slowly and move the boat simply without tying any knocks to avoid the risk of the rope breaking or kit extraction. While maneuver, hold the rope firmly, but do not wrap or twist it around the waist and maintain tension to avoid dragging the boat should the water begin to eddy. Leave the engine running and in neutral position in order to quickly maneuver the boat if necessary. Never use your feet to move the boat away from the walls of the lock and never jump from the lock onto the roof of the boat as this can result in a severe accident. If the lock is automatic, the opening can be activated with either a remote control or with a pole hanging above the channel which you can move a quarter turn to the right, clockwise. When the light shows green, you may enter safely. You are then invited to order the lock cycle from the desk at your disposal. If the desk doesn't work, please sound your horn. Once finished, please wait for the gates to open completely before leaving carefully. During your cruise, please sail gently and carefully in order not to damage the banks to respect the fauna and flora around you and always retain your rubbish and dispose of it only in designated places. Enjoy these relaxing and adventurous moments to share with your family and friends in the richness of our channels and rivers. We hope that you will have a memorable time on board your Nichols Waterboats.